friends welcome to my channel students the first session in clinical pharmacology so we start up with what pharmacology is so pharmacology is logical study of drugs so any study which deals with drugs is simply pharmacology the next thing comes to my mind, my mind is what is a drug there are two ways in which you can uh, define a drug so the first is any substance which is being used for either treatment or for preventive aspect or for diagnostic profile so if i want to give example on these three issues then any substance or any medicine which is used for a cure of a disease for example anti cancer drug used for treatment of any cancer becomes a drug it can be a vaccine on the other hand which is used to prevent a certain disease for example polio vaccine uh, is used to uh, put the patients uh, so that they don't get polio the third aspect would be something on a diagnostic profile for example it can be a kind of a uh, radiological dye which is be used for uh, any of the diagnostic procedures like a barium swallow or any other radiological dye which has been pushed in the veins of an individual so that you know you can get a, a clear cut view on the contrast ct or a contrast mri and so on so all these substances then are classified as drugs but that's just one part of what drug is the next way in which we can define a drug is any substance which is used or which has the potential to alter a physiological or a pathological parameter of an individual for the benefit so by this what i mean is for example a person having a high blood pressure is something which uh, blood pressure itself is a physiological parameter and to have a high blood pressure on the other hand is something which is not normal so any substance which can bring down the blood pressure to normal or any anti hypertensive medications that we are all aware of can be classified as a drug or uh, the other way is uh, a substance as i did, as i just told you which has the potential to alter a pathological parameter for the benefit so you mean any uh, substance or which can basically cure a disease for example antibiotics for cure of uh, say for example infectious diseases like typhoid uh, malaria so on so these uh, substances also can be classified as drugs now you know what a drug is the next thing comes is uh, the clinical pharmacology so what do you mean by that so if i am applying the knowledge of these drugs in human beings then it becomes something for this process clinical pharmacology for example i want to assess how the drug moves inside a person's body that's basically pharmacokinetics so that parameters then then we know it that it is dealing with clinical pharmacology or we want to know what the substance is doing to the body what are the effects of the drugs on the body like pharmacodynamic parameter then also these things come under the profile of clinical pharmacology you have various clinical trials which goes on to know what is the efficacy of a drug uh, that will come to it in our later series uh, so safety profile of the drugs these all things which are done to deal with human body drug effects on human body then are classified as clinical pharmacology and if you are applying this knowledge for treatment of a disease by understanding the disease process itself then we call it as clinical therapeutics so uh, we have clinical pharmacology which is mostly a uh, kind of experimental uh, side of pharmacology in human beings but we have the therapeutic components in which we use tried and tested drugs for cure of a particular disease so that becomes the therapeutic component also for the clinical therapeutics uh, so that was my analysis for the day uh, thanks for watching my video please do subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below uh, i hope you got uh, something out of what i said uh, thank you and see you soon bye bye